Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Please be seated. You may remove your jackets. Ladies and gentlemen, can I just remind you that the proceedings this evening are going to be webcast um, and that those, um, the recording of the meeting may be used later in uh, training purposes and that by being present you are consenting to the filming of your involvement. Uh, can you please make sure that you only speak through the chair and that you indicate when you wish to speak so that you can be called because you can only be heard when your microphone is on. Um, can I remind those in the public gallery that by being present you are consenting to being filmed uh, and can I ask everybody please to turn off their mobile phones because even if you put them on to vibrate they will still interfere with the sound system. Thank you. Are there any apologies for absence please? And Councillor Ray Thomas, Madam Mayor. Can I call please for declarations of interest and draw your attention to A and B of the agenda? Councillor William. I got it. Yeah, Madam Mayor, before you start, can I just uh, advise uh, the, the members for the Bedlinog Ward that on item number 21, the BIFA Profit Sharing Scheme, uh, we're going to add additional paper, which is the Chilewis Pont Newydd OAP application. Um, we thought we'd put it in today because otherwise it'll be a six week delay. So. The relevant members need to declare an interest on that as well. You, you wouldn't be aware of it from the papers, but it is coming up tonight. I, I did go through and have a look to see if there was uh, any item I had to declare interest on. Uh, I wasn't sure when that would be coming up. I'm grateful to uh, Councillor Phil Williams for the information and heads up. I declare an interest. Oh. Item 21, I'm declaring an interest. I'm a governor of Penadre School. By the way, I say I'm number 21. Um, I declare interest in the um, first sharing scheme, uh, governor of Penadre School. Councillor O'Neill. Uh, Madam Mayor, the same as Councillor uh, Smith and uh, Councillor Tony. Before we go into um, minutes then, I'd like to call on the leader, please. Thank you, uh, Madam Mayor. Madam Mayor, um, members are probably aware, um, but if they're not, they need reminding that um, it's a sad occasion uh, this evening in many respects. Our Director of People and Performance, Lorraine Buck, is leaving us. It's her last uh, council meeting this evening. And on behalf of the council, um, and indeed personally, I'd like to thank Lorraine for everything that she's done for Merthyr Tidwell over the past number of years, um, and in particular for the learners of the County Borough, both past and present. <coughs> Lorraine came here, it's about five years ago, uh, just a little, uh, four is it? Just seems a lot longer, Lorraine, does it? <laughs> um, four years ago when our education services were at the uh, lowest ever ebb, and without doubt, uh, Lorraine has been instrumental in getting this council to a much better place in terms of educational performance. Uh, Lorraine, thank you again for everything that you've done for uh, Merthyr Tidville, and um, we wish both you and Philip all the very best for the future. Thanks a lot. Councillor Jones. Can I come in and um, echo those remarks made uh, by Brenda? And uh, I suppose Lorraine will always remember, uh, as most of us do, uh, 2012, because that was uh, certainly an important day as far as uh, education in Merthyr was concerned, because Estyn were coming in to monitor the authority and monitor uh, the education attainment of our children and other things, and there were certain chief officers of this authority at the time 
that we're telling Brendan and myself, don't worry about it, we're going to come out of this with adequates. It baffled myself because the evidence that was surrounding us indicated that we were in serious trouble in terms of performance within this authority. Not only did I think it, Brendan thought it, and certainly Lorraine um, uh, accepted it as well, that it wasn't adequate. Don't take much notice of those who were uh, trying to kid everyone along. Just look at what was facing us. And what was facing us at that moment in time, among other things, was the report that had been undertaken by the consultants, uh, ISOS. And they came out with figures that indicated that in most of the key indicators, most of the key stages in education in Merthyr Tydfil, Merthyr Tydfil were 22 out of 22 authorities. And that was the starting point for uh, myself, Brendan and Lorraine to say to everyone, including this council, this cannot go on. We've come to the end of the road as far as people saying things which are absolutely crazy. Adequate was a crazy word. I remember then the first meeting that we held that was with the heads and the chairs of all the schools in Merthyr. And Lorraine was present, uh, as was Brendan, at that meeting. And we thought we'd get them all to accept the way forward. The, accept the, the way forward was there was only one way, and that was to work so that we were going to improve the benefits of the children in Merthyr. Whereas the heads paid lip service to what we were uh, offering, when it came to reality some months later, the heads really didn't want to know. They thought that what they had been doing over the years was the way forward, even from that uh, bad time in terms of education in Merthyr. And I began to wonder how the heck we were going to get over the problem of heads um, saying and paying lip service to what we were saying, we're all in this together, we've all got to move forward, and the minute they were out through the door, uh, it was entirely different. But Lorraine took the bull by the horns, took the bull by the horns, and she challenged all those head teachers. It wasn't an easy task, because I can remember, and I'm sure Brendan will recall, one of the meetings when the recovery board were in attendance, when we had feedback regarding the heads in Merthyr and how they wanted to treat uh, this agenda we had, and I know that it brought tears to her eyes because she had put up with so much venom and attacking from certain heads throughout the county borough that she began to wonder, was this worthwhile? what the agenda that she had and we had for taking education forward. What I can say is I'm glad she didn't quit at that point in time. And I think I speak for everyone. Because when you look as to what we've got now, no longer are we 22 out of 22. We made a statement to this council some two or three years ago that by 2017, we would be in the first 10 authorities uh, within Wales in terms of educational attainment. And we are well on course to achieving that aim. Dorothy has presented me with figures for this year. They are provisional figures, but those figures are exciting in terms of our progress. And in due course, uh, members, will you, when the figures have been uh, ratified and we've got the GCSEs, uh, etc., in as well. So, on behalf of this council, on behalf of all the officers and elected members, I would like to pass on my good wishes on behalf of you all 
tutoring um, for a good, enjoyable retirement. I know she's got problems. I'm sure those problems will be overcome. Um, everything may, will turn out right. You've got to be positive. And I'd like to thank you, Lorraine, for all the sturdy work that you have done for the children of Merthyr Tidville, for this local authority in improving standards to the position that we see them today. No longer will we be accused of being the worst authority in Wales, as was the message coming out of the assembly uh, uttered by a, a person now who uh, was probably sorry he ever made that statement because he lost his seat because of it. Uh, he's gone. Different people in control now down there and um, we can only go down the correct road of improving uh, the education attainment for our young children, which is what they deserve. And I know we've had a conversation earlier on this afternoon about the agenda we should be following. I am going to take on board your advice. I'm going to chat it over with uh, Brendan because I believe strongly it is the way to go from your own end. So all the best to you. And once again, thank you very much for your efforts in Merthyr Tidwell. Right, we move on to the agenda then. Um, item number three, minutes of meeting, Wednesday the 18th of May, annual general meeting. Yes, uh, move, okay. Madam Mayor. Second, Madam Mayor. Can I take it to the vote then, please? That's carried, thank you very much. Item number four, minutes of meeting, Monday the 23rd of May, scrutiny, neighbourhood services and public protection. Happy to move the minutes, Madam Mayor. Yeah. So, can I put it to the vote, please? Carried, thank you. Item number five, minutes of meeting Wednesday the 25th of May of Licensing Committee. I move the minutes of the meeting on the 25th of May, Madam Mayor. I second it, Madam Mayor. Thank you. Can I take it to the vote then, please? That's carried, thank you. Item number six, minutes of meeting Tuesday the 23rd of May, scrutiny, regeneration, planning and countryside. Move, Madam Mayor. Can I take it to the vote then, please? That's carried, thank you. Uh, item number seven, minutes of meeting Wednesday the 1st of June of Cabinet. Move, Madam Mayor. Second, Madam Mayor. Thank you. Can I take it to the vote then, please? That's carried, thank you. Uh, Item number eight, minutes of meeting Monday the 6th of June of Audit Committee. Move, Madam Mayor. 
Seconded. Take it to the vote then, please. Carried, thank you very much. Item number nine, minutes of meeting, Monday the 13th of June of Licensing Committee. I move the minutes of the 13th of June, Madam Mayor. I second it, Madam Mayor. Can I take it to the vote then, please? That's carried, thank you very much. Item number 10, minutes of meeting Wednesday the 15th of June of Cabinet. Yes, move, Madam Mayor. Second, Madam Mayor. Can I take it to the vote then, please? That's carried, thanks very much. Um, item number 11, minutes of meeting Wednesday the 15th of June of full council. Move, Madam Mayor. Second. Can I take it to the vote then, please? That's carried, thank you very much. Item number 12, minutes of meeting, Monday the 20th of June, of scrutiny, learning and lay skip. Move, Madam Mayor. Can I take it to the vote then, please? That's carried, thank you. Item number 13, minutes of meeting, Wednesday the 22nd of June of the Licensing Committee. Move, Madam Mayor. Second, Madam Mayor. Take it to the vote then, please. That's carried, thank you. That's carried, thank you. Yeah. Item number 14, minutes of meeting Wednesday the 22nd of June of Planning, Regulatory and Licensing Committee. I move those minutes, uh, Madam Mayor. Take it to the vote, please. That's carried, thank you. Item number 15, minutes of meeting, Monday the 27th of June of Rights of Way Committee. I move the minutes, uh, Madam Mayor. Take it to the vote then, please. That's carried, thank you very much. Item number 16, minutes of meeting Tuesday the 28th of June of Scrutiny Social Services. Take it to the vote then, please. As carried then, thank you. Minutes of meeting Wednesday the 29th of June of Cabinet. Yes, move, Madam Mayor. Second, Madam Mayor. Take it to the vote then, please. As carried, thank you. Minutes of meeting Tuesday the 7th of June of SACRA. Move, Madam Mayor. Take it to the vote then, please. That's carried, thank you. Um, on to number 19, and I believe it's uh, the leader to take this. Yes, thank you, Madam Mayor. Madam Mayor, the uh, Council will be aware that I am the Welsh Local Government Association spokesperson for Community Safety and Armed Forces, and that I have a close and personal interest in the well-being 
of all those who serve our country. Madam Mayor, the Royal British Legion is campaigning for additional questions on the armed forces community to be included in the 2021 census. Its website carries the following message, and I quote, the government's official statistics body, the Office for National Statistics, along with their devolved equivalents, are already planning or starting to plan what questions will be in the next census. After the 2011 census, we knew more about the Jedi population of the UK than those who have served in our armed forces. Despite an estimated one in 10 of the UK population being members of the armed forces community, there is very limited information about where they are or what their needs may be. We have a once in a generation opportunity to change this. By adding new questions to the 2021 census, we can improve our understanding of this unique community and ensure that politicians, charities, and service providers fully meet the needs of our serving personnel, veterans, and their families. We count on them, let's count them in. Merthyr Tidville County Borough Council is fully supportive of our armed forces community, past and present, and the contribution they make both in peacetime and in conflict. The council is proud to play an active role in the community, in the Cumtaf Armed Forces Community Covenant. However, there is a shortage of national and local knowledge of the number of armed forces personnel and their specific needs. Therefore, Madam Mayor, I move that this council supports the campaign of the RBL and that the chief executive write to the RBL supporting the initiative and to the Office of National Statistics to request that the new questions proposed by the RBL be included in the 2021 census. Madam Mayor, I take pleasure in seconding the motion. Any questions? Comments? Can I take it to the vote then, please? That's carried, thank you very much. Item number 21, uh, Bifford Profit 20, Amendment to Electronic Signature Direction. I believe it's the Deputy Leader to take this. Thank you, Madam Mayor. The report's on page 57 and 58. The recommendation is 2.1. I won't go into the detail of the recommendation because it's fairly uh, long-winded. And also just uh, remind members that this actually is a procedural uh, paper. So I just move the recommendation on page 57. I move. Second, Madam Mayor. Any questions? Comments? Can I take it to the <coughs> vote then, please? That's carried, thank you very much. Item number 21 then, I believe Councillor Williams has taken it. Declaration of interest first. Madam Mayor, under paragraph 1.1, obviously it now reads to seek Council's instructions on the allocation of funds from the Gurness and Bedlinog electoral divisions. The rec recommendation on 2.1 is uh, in respect of councillors now for both electoral divisions. You've got before you on page 63 the fact that uh, there's an award for Penadre High School of £1,000. And the addition tonight is, as I said earlier on, because of the delay over the summer, let's not delay it, rather, uh, for Berlinog Electro Electoral Division. It's a, a charitable, charitable donation to T. Lewis Bontnewydd OAP Association of £1,306. I move that we accept. Second, Madam Mayor. Any questions? Can I take it to the vote then, please? That's carried then. Could somebody ask him to come back in, please?
Item number 22 then, I believe it's Councillor Barry to take this. Yes, thank you Madam Mayor. Madam Mayor, as stated in section 1.1 of the report, the purpose is to seek Council's approval of the replacement Murphy Deville Local Development Plan 2016 to 2031 delivery agreement. In April this year, we gave approval for planned vision to commence work on the preparation of the replacement LDP following full revision procedure. And the first step in this is the preparation of a delivery agreement, compromising of a timetable of the key stages and details of a community involvement scheme. Two main stages in the plan preparation, and these outlined in section 4.2 of the report. It's anticipated the replacement LDP will be delivered within a period of three years and seven months, with an anticipated adoption date of December 2019. The community involvement scheme sets out how stakeholders and the wider community can contribute to the plan preparation. Subject to Council's approval tonight, the delivery agreement will be submitted to the Welsh Government for the agreement. Financial implications are outlined in section 6 of the report, and I move recommendations 2.1, 2.2 and 2.3 on page 72. Second, Madam Mayor. Any questions? Comments? Now, I think can we, um, when we when we originally uh, looked at the development plan, was it 2011? Was it the, was the original one? This is a five-year update. Am I right? Sorry. Yes, yep. The, <coughs> the, the current local development plan covers the plan period of 2006 to 2021. Uh, it was adopted in 2011. Uh, what the process we've gone through, every four years we have to review the plan. We've reviewed the plan. And as a result of that, the recommendation is to produce a, a replacement plan. So the current plan will remain in place until the new plan is adopted. And then the plan period will be covering up to 2031. Thank you. Um, well, on the original um, 2011 local development plan, um, each ward councillors went through the plan to see where the plan um, affected their wards. Well, we haven't had a consultation on this this, this time. Chair, if Councillor Barrett uh, sets his mind back to April this year, this was discussed in full council, and every one of the members here voted to go through the revision pr procedure. Uh, it's all due to the housing stock and the anticipated growth, etc. We, as a full council, decided to go through this plan, and that's what we're going to do. Thank you, Madam Chair. If you if Councillor Barry checked, and it's my fault, I wasn't in the council meeting in, in April. I was on the holidays. So if you'd have done, I should have read it up. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Any further questions, please? Comments then, please. Yeah, the only comment is to, to Councillor Barrett. I think as far as you know, we're concerned, this, this actual paper tonight allows this consultation process to take place. So, uh, you know, the discussions fo following from tonight, the discussions will be taking place with all stakeholders as per the report, Councillor Barrett. Thank you, Councillor Ware, for asking us explanation. I know Councillor Barry is going to have a go at me every time I say it, but uh, <laughs> don't worry about it. Any further comments, please? Can I take it to the vote, then? That's carried, thank you. Item number 23, and I believe it's Councillor Barry again. Yeah, thank you, Madam Mayor. Madam Mayor, as I outlined in section 1.1 of this report, the purpose is to outline how to Council how the newly developed Mercedesville Destination Management Plan will have a positive effect on the management of internal departments and key external stakeholders, coordinated by the setting up of a destination management partnership. First DMP created in 2013 achieved a number of positive outcomes for the whole of the county better and the new DMP will focus on further driving the tourism potential of the area extensively over the next three years. The vision for the DMP as a strategic document is to develop Merthyr Tidville as a key tourism destination, <coughs> building on the town's historic significance and emerging activity tourism offer. The key elements of the new DMP will, will deliver upon the following priorities 
of Arthur Heritage Area, enhancing key attractions such as Rock UK, Parkwood Outdoors, Dolly Air and Bike Park Wales. Positive influencing themes consisting of marketing, publicity and perception changing and developing the activity tourism sector, trails, infrastructure, heritage and culture agendas. As part of the new plan, we will establish a new destina destination management partnership consisting of local authority staff and key external bodies and they are listed in 1.7 of the report. The new DMP will drive the newly developed destination Merthyr Tydfil activity tourism video, new Visit Merthyr website and new Visit Merthyr guide, all of which were developed in consultation with the corporate comms team. Madam Mayor, this document has gone to scrutiny. I'm not sure if Councillor Barrett was in the country or if he was in Australia at the time, but it has gone there. <laughs> Since 2011, the local authorities had no dedicated tourism resource. Therefore, an exercise has been undertaken with community regeneration to realign staff budgets and create a dedicated staff resource to deliver the destination management plan. As the Mayor just mentioned the video, Ryan is now going to play for us. We want to get a cop popcorn out because it's only for about 20, 25 minutes. This isn't the final version. There are a few minor amendments, but this is basically it. Second, Madam Mayor. Yeah, Madam Mayor, I'm sure members will be, uh, once again, that's very impressive. I've got to finish by thanking Ryan, Alan, Chris Long, and all the rest of the team for the tremendous amount of hard work and good, effective work that they've put into this destiny, destination management plan. Madam Mayor, I move recommendations 2.1, 2.2, and 2.3 on page 78 of the report. Second, Madam Mayor. <laughs> Thank you. Um, any questions, please? Comments? Councillor Barrett? <laughs> Thank you, Madam Mayor. And again, this is the two reports that we've had on the, on the film here, an excellent video. And I always say, but how do we get out this, this sort of circulation to the public about how good Merthyr Vale is? And that's our trouble, because we've had a few videos created in the past and then we have a presentation with Chamber on scrutiny and they never seen again. Right uh, sorry, I don't know it's to me answer that. Uh, we're actually looking at our marketing provision uh, on a holistic view and we are actually um, trying to look at from an, uh, um, a web investment perspective, Facebook marketing, to try and reach a far greater reach um, in terms of uh, visitors to um, the local bar uh, the county borough. Traditional marketing route in terms of producing pamphlets uh, and putting those at locations, that is, uh, for want of a better word, old hat now when we can get, we, we think, we hope to get far better return on investment in terms of looking at web marketing. Um, and we're actually trialling, hopefully tomorrow morning, um, Facebook advertising with regards to our um, initiative on um, flight dipping and for a small investment we hope to reach 30,000 people within the borough so it's that type of uh, reach that we would be looking from a small investment in terms of uh, the right style of marketing we get better results hopefully. Thank you for that excellent I, I, I could also take, take some to Australia with you <laughs> 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 Councillor Williams I'm on comments now, uh, Madam Mayor, is that okay? No? Sorry? Is there no questions? Okay. Councillor Chaplin. Then any further questions? Right, we'll go to comments then, Councillor William. Thank you, Madam Mayor. And one of the things I was going to suggest to Councillor Barrett that he could take a few DVDs with him, although having said that, um, on several rugby trips in the past, he's come back with DVDs and uh, <laughs> was stopped at customs on one or two occasions. <laughs> Madam Mayor, I just wanted to support Chris on this one and, and congratulate the team, Ryan, and, and the whole team in economic development. I know that there are measures now taking place to try and uh, also bolster the, uh, re the resources available to tourism management within the borough. It is an excellent document. It's, uh, it's a well-readable, very easily read document, and it does open your eyes when you go to pages 7 to 10 and read the achievements that the, the first DMP delivered. 
All I would say now is clearly on pages 17 to 19, we've got the program priorities. There's a shed full of priorities there, including uh, responding again to Councillor Barrett, the promotion of the plan. But there are a lot there, and uh, it does justify your arguments in terms of resources from within the department. I notice I don't say new resources, but from within the department. And I wish you luck in delivering that. If you, were as, if you are as successful as you were with the first lot, I'm sure you will deliver all of these. So well done, congratulations, and all the best. Councillor Chaplin. Thank you, Madam Mayor. I'd like to endorse what uh, Councillor Phil Williams has just said, although I must express my disappointment as a former member of Merthyr Tydfil Kiltana's Golf Club. It's not mentioned. <coughs> Councillor Thomas. Uh, thank you, Madam Mayor. Uh, a superb film, I have to say, um, and it's really a joy to watch, and I must also add that compliment to the, the magazine which came with the papers. Tremendous, that together with the, the Welsh football success over the last few years, should a uh, few months, weeks, whatever, sorry, should put Wales and Merthyr Tidville firmly on the map. I have one further idea if it goes down well with Council, because in Taff Bargard, which I, I confess I think is not mentioned enough uh, within the development plan, um, we, we have a, a very subtle sort of advertising scheme down there now. We've got um, fish who can walk and ducks who can cross from one side of the lake to the other on the silt, which is sort of building up over the period of years. I really think we need to do something about that because we're missing uh, a trick here. The, the fishermen are beginning to find it difficult to fish and the canoeists who have entertained world championship competitions there are finding it more and more difficult because of the silting. So I really think that if we're going to move forward on a, a, a national sort of development plan out there on parts of the, uh, the county borough, we need to address more time and, if necessary, <coughs> money to Taff Bargoid. Councillor Jones. I'd like to congratulate the on the production of that film and the, the magazine. Perhaps you could do a little bit of help to the golfer and advise him that he has got some technical difficulties with his swing and uh, perhaps you could help him on that. Adam, can I just, I, I know I've spoken once, but can I just, for the record, because we are on film, uh, just state quite clearly that when I made the reference to Councillor Barrett and DVDs, it was all a joke. There was nothing <laughs> whatsoever intended within that comment, and that there was I got no evidence whatsoever to suggest. I must say that, and, and I must congratulate Richard Thomas on his holy ducks. Right, can I take it to the vote then, please? That's carried, thank you very much. Uh, item number 24. Um, Linda, are you taking this? Madam Mayor, it is an information report and the annual report has been to Social Services Scrutiny Committee. Right, thanks very much. Um, other items then, item number 25, I understand uh, the leader wishes to make a statement. Yes, thank you, Madam Mayor. Madam Mayor, um, I'll, I'll try to be brief. Um, following the recent uh, vote to leave Europe, there's been a significant uh, increase in hate crime across the country. The Welsh Local Government Association, uh, through the leader, Bob Wellington, has issued a statement that has full cross-party support that this behaviour is completely and wholly unacceptable. Uh, Madam Mayor, I'm grateful to members of this council for wanting to highlight this matter, including Councillor Alan Jones of the Independent Group uh, that brought it to my attention a um, couple of weeks ago. So, Madam Mayor, on behalf of this council, I too wish to make it absolutely clear that Merthyr Tydfil County Borough Council, together with all county borough councils in Wales, is proud to celebrate the diversity of our communities. This council has a historic tradition of tolerance, which has been the, at the heart of our civil society. 
Welsh councils have been at the forefront of welcoming asylum seekers and refugees from all parts of the world for many years. All councils value the contribution they have made and continue to make to our society. Merthyr Tydfil's workforce, especially in areas such as health and social care, have been enriched by the presence of people from countries across the European Union providing essential support to our communities. On Friday, the 8th of July, the BBC reported that more than 3,000 hate crimes and incidents were reported to police between the 16th and 30th of June, and that is an increase of some 42% on 2015, and National Police uh, Chiefs Council figures show that at the peak in offending on the 25th of June, 289 offences occurred across the UK. It is therefore important that Merthyr Tydfil County Borough Council continues to monitor the situation among its communities and readies itself against any rise in hate crimes or abuse by those that might use the recent EU referendum as cover to seek to divide our communities. As quoted in the Merthyr Tydfil County Borough Council Strategic Equality Plan for, for 2016 to 2020, our equality's vision for Merthyr Tydfil is a place where diversity is valued and respected and everyone can participate and flourish and have the opportunity to fulfil their potential free from discrimination and prejudice. The Council will work towards achieving this vision through our role as a community leader, service provider, commissioner and employer and we will work in partnership to reduce inequalities and to improve the well-being of the county borough. The council will use its leadership role to promote equality and diversity and to share ideas and good practice with partners and other service providers. We will continue to refine and develop our services, including respective monitoring systems, to help us gain a better understanding of our staff and the wider communities and to enable us to meet everyone's diverse needs. This Council, together with our public sector colleagues, will remain fully committed to supporting integration and will continue to promote tolerance among and within our communities across the County Borough and throughout Wales. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Thank you, Councillor. I'm sure we all agree with that. Uh, item number 26 is to receive communication. I have none. So all that remains to be said is thank you very much, everyone, for attending tonight.